Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm Louis. Welcome back. Uh, we yeah, we have today the last day for the Great Storm event on on both Eurowars um, Facebook and and web uh, versions of the game. And so I had promised yesterday that I would make a video uh, fighting you know the boss and the last uh, the last positions or steps before reaching the boss. And that's what we're gonna do now, <laughs> basically. So we have a see this in full screen maybe it's better let's put it like uh, da -da -da. this we have here the the web the facebook version of the game and we have here the web version of the game we're gonna do first the web version of the game because i consider it easier with my account as i've been using uh, for a long time um ishmael and and Jew. and then i also have dorian and and Aurora and Spassi. So this this combo works very well for me. Also paired with, with Axel, very important. And so we're just a few steps away from the boss and we have six uh, attacks. So or attack or action points. Hopefully this will be enough. So um, we did the the star or shuriken. Um, it's like this. Uh, you start here. You do like this and then like this like that then like that and then like this and then you finish here with this so the next position would be number six and um, might as well just let me see I have the audio muted right let's unmute the audio for this last no we have we have sounds I think we have a bug here on on uh, OBS and the al the audio does not put does not really output. But um, anyways, I'll I'll try fixing it quickly here. Oh yeah, so maybe we can do like that. Twenty five percent. Okay, ready to go. If it has audio, the better. If it doesn't, well, too bad. But we will we will be proceeding. So the next step will be fighting here, number six. This is already in the circle of uh, orc. That was quite easy. Uh, then we have these uh, 57 squads, and this will um, enable us to take out to ca take out the last stuff for the boss. So there's three of these: one, two, three, as I detail in the previous video. And now we will take that out the um, this last third one. finished the fight with the least health it was um, Dorian and Aurora so the, the healer at the back and Aurora at the front uh, uh, Dorian doesn't really you know he heal himself that much uh, often um, the others can benefit from vampirism although as we had ver verified in a previous video there was not much uh, of um, vampiristic <laughs> uh, kind of effect going on um, but this time we did see it, right? So Aurora didn't benefit from it, but Jew and Ishmael did. And in many previous fights, and we have here in the log, uh, I, I, I had checked that there wasn't much vampirism going, so or, or sometimes neither at all. And we don't see much here. I, I remember seeing really zero, so. I don't think we saw that wrong, but uh, anyways, uh, now we saw uh, substantially more. That's good news. So now we are ready for the fight with the boss, and it goes like this: we have to fight these tentacles. There's also the eyes, and we'll be getting uh, damage over time. 
we have a few buffs here we have the increased healing we have the increased physical damage we also have the increased magical defense all right and and we have a choice of picking our team so we could we could uh, perhaps replace some of these heroes or we could just try this out uh, i'm inclined to to pick and and stay with this team Although um, might benefit or not having also Astro in there to to just give one revive, because I'm going to I'm going to put my my face now. I think it's a bit weird, um, and we don't need to see that that square there uh, with with data. And so uh, kind of you know we could put more healing, we could put Jorgen, we could put Astro for various different reasons. Uh, might even help having Alvanor instead of Thea. Uh, Thea probably isn't, isn't doing as much healing as my Alvanor. And there's also the option of, of Rufus. It's been a while since I tried this. I guess I will just be trying uh, uh, um, see what we get from this in the first fight. We have not many attacks, we have four attacks, but I suppose between two and three attacks will be enough for this, for my account. So let's give a go and, and see how this goes. You yeah, excellent wench. <laughs> I'll just skip all of all of this. So the first attack of perhaps two three. output was a, a way more on on Ishmael that's a surprise instead of Jew although the power difference here is already substantial because I decided at some point that I would be focusing more on Ishmael than on Jew uh, Jew was having a lot of uh, hard times uh, uh, fighting other teams when they had different types of, of, of heroes in their lineup like for example, if they had Martha, Drew would be usually um, not able to, to finish the fight and win. Um, and so I s decided to invest more on, so I stopped putting many resources on Drew and start started putting more on, on Ishmael and bring Ishmael up. So this might be um, a reflection on, on that. I don't remember seeing this on previous um, Great Storms, so I remember seeing uh, Ishmael dying uh, somewhere in the fight and Drew doing more more damage um, quite more damage but this time I got surprised the healing it worked like that I suppose uh, removing Dorian will be not an option but maybe so let's look here again but maybe removing Aurora is a better idea you see, uh, just a hundred k damage. She managed to to absorb some damage, um, but she wasn't that useful. So, um, this is what I recall. Aurora there wouldn't help as much. 
So we have an option of putting instead Astrod and hoping use revive will help someone, which should up should help should should be the case. But we can also boost healing or boost damage. So I guess it's now the paradox. So if we would be boosting damage, we could put Nebula, and this could prove useful for a little while until Nebula dies because she will die <laughs> eventually. Uh, or we could put uh, an healer, uh, but this can make a problem here. We, this can, this can kind of prevent Ishmael and Ju from using their vampiristic skills so well. Um, maybe wait. Um, no, I'm miscalculating because vampirism will work either way because it's based on the damage and not the damage they receive. So where where was the case? Okay, the case is that they they might not be. Um, activating their skills so often and then that uh, might reduce their damage output and then in the end might cause them to to heal themselves less so that's the thing also might not be that that drastic because it might not block at all the damage from the boss from the the first damage that we get so this is an option still and we have the option of putting Thea, though I don't think she will do that much uh, uh, compared to Alvana. And we also have the option of Jorgen uh, to redirect damage to just one opponent, try to get those quickly killed. But you know, it depends on Jorgen using that skill, and it might not happen. So between these three, I guess we could try first Nebula, and then maybe Alvana, and hopefully <laughs> uh, make it better than the previous round. So let's try now. Nebula. If we don't finish this in, in four rounds, so it's the next Maybe 1.5 million damage. Whereas in the previous round we were doing a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> so damage taken is what counts. 4.9 million. Yeah. That was really bad. Um, so Nebula, Nebula didn't, didn't help. I mean, she she helped, but she got killed early on, as I was expecting. And at the same time, uh, Aurora was absorbing a lot of damage, and that was making uh, Ishmael survive longer. Because that didn't happen this time. We got completely trashed. So Aurora was actually useful. <laughs> so with that, I don't think it's wise to, to change anything else. So we need Sebastian for a while to boost our critical hits. We need Dorian to keep everyone alive. Um, and we need those two to do the damage. So the, the most we could change here actually would be replacing Axel um, with either Albus to cause a lot more damage. Or we could even try uh, Kane, but I don't think it will make that much of a of a, of a change here. And then there is also the option of Oliver. Oliver to keep healing additionally the team. So we if we I guess it's a good idea to check on the respective yeah we need to check here. On the respective pet skills and see what would be the best uh, option here. And hopefully it would not be so disastrous as <laughs> as the previous fight. That was really disastrous. So uh, come on, open here. Yeah, okay. So uh, wh what does Axel? It distributes the damage. 
and that's also we, we see the damage going everywhere uh, and it's not just the the storm effect and then increases the healing received by 30 percent but this is under the ally with the lowest health only it's not something that will apply to everyone and then there's uh, the owner the one that gets uh, the patronage will protect him or her from really powerful attacks and in that case i think that would be and for a short while uh, dorian i think uh, i think that's where i put him actually uh, with kane so we get the night fangs and the invisible invisible mask i think it's all based on on damage so what we do here um yeah every time Every time someone does dodge successfully, they will get, um, they will give Cain basically uh, extra charges, and then eventually he will throw all those knives, and that's basically his skill. And then this in increases dodge for the entire team. So this is something that could work uh, regarding the damage of of all those minions there but not really i think from the the forest uh, damage uh, that goes around and then there's the the patronage that we get are applying on aurora and it gives extra energy for each for each successful dodge all right and then um the other one other two we were talking about there's albus so albus uh, does uh, a lot of damage with this so with the highest health, the opponent with the highest health, pure damage. Problem is that it's not uh, area of effect, so it might have limited uh, effectiveness on this um, specific setting. And then um, there's this one, the concentration. So this 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 skill, uh, which doesn't list here, uh, will start taking now three seconds to charge and gain bonus damage. Uh, depending on all the pure damage being uh, done on the fight. So the problem with this is that it only targets one enemy, and and so if those little minions get killed very quickly, it's it's kind of pointless to use this, right? They w you would need to have uh, some minions there that that would have larger health, and and then and. Uh, all of a sudden they get blasted with that and lose like half health okay that would be useful uh, unfortunately here we don't have that we don't have uh, you know the boss doesn't show actually so uh, kind of a, prob a problem with this and then we have the patronage so increases pure damage dealt by the master so this is something we can use on a specific uh, hero and we are already using that so we are using that on you and lastly we have so i don't think we'll be using all then we have uh, lastly uh, Oliver so Oliver will uh, shield all the allies up to this amount of damage uh, 70,000 um, when he activates the skill then we have the pixie dust which heals the hero with the lowest health but it's just 8,000 it's not really much so and then we have the the patronage which uh, heals them the master if they lose uh, more than 50 percent health but only 3000 so but it's every um this is for every dot five seconds it doesn't list how um, how much long it will maybe as long as the master is below 50 percent i don't know exactly how this works but uh, the the effect here is also a little um kind of limited because of the amount of healing is not really um that much um but this shield it could be useful but um it's also only uh, versus physical damage okay and now we can check uh, a few things before making a decision we can check we can check here on the log what kind of damage we are taking uh it doesn't I had the impression this list, and I think it's more confusing. Uh, I think we need to see on the fight exception. Exactly. So.
again, there's one more thing we can check. How many of our heroes are actually dodge heroes? So, uh, of course, Aurora isn't exactly, but she will benefit a lot because of her skills and then uh, a lot of stats she has. Uh, although she's not really... I mean, let's see here. Where is the dodge? Here. No, sorry. This is um, the absorption. Where was the dodge? It's not on the skills. So we have here uh, the, the shield that absorbs magic damage, which is exactly what they are doing, those minions. Uh, we have then the dodge skin. And we get a bunch there. And so we have health, armor, and dodge. And we usually put first skill um, skins into uh, skin, skin points into Nordic skin, so the dodge. And then in the end, we have uh, a large amount of dodge there. Um, also, the items provide dodge. Then we have Ishmael. So uh, Aurora had about 8k dodge, and Ishmael doesn't really have dodge. So it doesn't really benefit from that. Uh, although, <coughs> it does have uh, this skill here that provides some dodge. But this is um, kind of ab ab abstract, because there's really no dodge stat. So So it, it's not based on a stat, it just has the chance of dodging attacks. That's how it works. And then we have Ju, and Ju also doesn't have a dodge stat. And he doesn't have either uh, a dodge uh, skill. What, it, it, what happens is that when, when uh, Izel is approaching zero, uh, he, he has a skill here, and that would be this one here. He recovers health, so uh, there's a chance that he might not die. So basically, that's that's how it works. And he also, of course, has the enrage, which makes him like uh, Ishmael. And it's uh, this one here. They, they I each of these skills in increase uh, their um, amount of speed, power, etc. So di different skills. So on on Ishmael, the critical hit chance. Then he also has the vampirism. And then he also stuns the opponent, so in fact lowering the damage that he and the others can receive. And and then Zhu, he, he increases his speed, he does more damage um, based on the health of the opponent. And then uh, he also he increases the, the damage that um, the enemies will take. Um, so really not really a specific dodge stat that can be um, improved upon by by Kane. Uh, what I would have I is my other team, or my composite team here on the Grand Arena, this one here. So, um, Sebastian will will benefit from dodge. Uh, Aurora, we already discussed. And then there's, uh, and then there's um, Isaac Verona, I saw. Isaac, I, I think it also doesn't really benefit from, from dodge, exactly. So there we go. Um, probably Kane is not the answer either. So we are left with the option we are already using. So either uh, this one, we keep it a as is, uh, put put in Kane to benefit uh, just the, the heroes here that, that get a dodge. And that would be, oh, Nebula also uh, uses dodge. Forgot that. Um, but we're not using Nebula here. So, um, that would be uh, Aurora and Sebastian. Um, if we would use Oliver, it would provide some healing, but the healing is minimal and the shield is useless. So we don't seem to be getting much uh, physical damage there. Uh, if we would, we would use Albus, uh, unfortunately, and we can also check that here, it doesn't seem like uh, this enemy is safe. <laughs> My conclusion is to stick with Axel. So let's replace here Axel, and we have uh, definitive good um, results. Kane benefits a few heroes. 
Oliver, my Oliver at least, is not doing much healing with shield is useless. Albus will concentrate damage on the target, but those are weak and, and it's really not that useful. And the other heroes, I just, I ju the other pets, I just don't think they will be useful here anyways. So we get back to the initial squad. I hope this uh, clarification that it was... <laughs> output here so this would be more in line with what I was expecting from early um, early uh, times that I was doing uh, the great storm so it doesn't seem like we will be finishing uh, today because they are still about half health and we only have this more one attack left <laughs> Instead of a total wreck. Yeah, nice output there. And uh, then then we we would have made it. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyways, uh time to switch account. I might I might decide to just spend a few resources to get the the missing action point to, to finish this because it's it's feasible at this point. But now we were we are checking on the Facebook account. In the Facebook account, I believe we will have much more difficulties. To the point that I think we will not be able to finish. So, um, in here we have two uh, stronger teams. Um, Ish uh, we don't have Ishmael or Ju. Uh, we don't have actually many, many heroes here that can do a lot of damage to, to bosses but in this case what we need is uh, uh, heroes that can stay alive and keep doing damage without getting killed basically <laughs> uh, and they, they can change uh, targets uh, quickly so uh, the problem will be Yasmin likely won't be able to do that uh, she, she might just not not get enough energy quick to to switch to another target and and you know just keep dancing around and and uh, killing the the opponents. I don't think it will happen, but we will give it a go and see and see see what what we can get from it. We will need Dorian, I think. Um, I think it's unwise to go without Dorian. So we have three attacks uh, left, and now the choices. Uh, okay, do we have many, many uh, heroes uh, here that can use uh, the effects of Kane? So we have Aurora and we have Sebastian and then we have Heidi. Okay, so we have one extra here. Um, do we have uh, a lot of healing and a lot of damage again? No, I don't think so. I don't think this, this will be useful here either. So now we do have a, a chance of picking between Kane and and Axel. Um, our uh, Celeste will be doing hopefully a lot of healing and so that's a hope I have um, and if Yasmin is not useful we can always do something here we can put uh, Dante and hope that it does more damage uh, I don't think my Maya will be useful because she's not very well developed and Ching Mao her skill takes out 10% her main skill takes out 10% of the target health but again it's all those tiny minions so we're gonna do the first attempt like this 
and then we will see um, what we can do um, I'll end here I believe we should try putting Dorian okay let's give it a go I'm hoping that um, the fact that Yasmin won't be jumping so much but we will have in there two healers at least for a while will make things better so we'll see so the energy is reaching the maximum there and she will be jumping quickly but she's almost killed by this point I don't see her jumping that's very bad that's I think that I recall from previous occasions so our team got completely killed very early on so uh, I, I didn't actually look at the timer but the was like um, less than a minute so less less than a minute so this survived about 40 seconds really bad <laughs> so my prediction is still very much that uh, they won't finish it um, what we can conclude from here is that we take out Yasmin. She won't provide as much damage. Um, now, uh, we can either give uh, Albus to Sebastian or to Heidi. I think I will put Albus on Heidi and on Sebastian I might put instead Oliver. Um, should we keep should we keep Dorian? Should we replace Dorian with Dante? I don't know. Should we put instead uh, Kane of Axel? I don't know either. <laughs> I guess we can give a try. Uh, it's obvious we won't finish, so we have two more fights we can do to to do some research here. I guess the first will be like this, and then the second we might drop Axel with Kane and put in Kane and maybe even drop Dorian and put in Dante and see what we get from this. So let's try this. And let's try and see what we get. So so they are reaching about the point where they were going to get killed um, like 15 seconds left they don't seem to be doing the, the, the healing that they needed and that's a problem okay so now it's about Heidi yeah this is what I expected. So Heidi kind of behaves like uh, Ishmael and Drew, but still got killed. So the vampire isn't very important in there. And she was uh, he was able <laughs> to do uh, a lot more substantial damage. So so far they did two million on this fight and then did nine hundred k on the previous. So about two million damage so far. Uh, now, I don't think replacing Dorian will be a good idea. Why? Because that will nullify the, the healing of the team. Um, although, really, Sebastian is not doing much there. Or now I just realized because we don't have anybody doing critical hits at the moment. So this will change to it. What we will do, we will protect from the buffs, we will do extra critical chance, we will... Ah, okay, okay, that's the one thing that he does, that is. Um, although, that's only for critical hits, and I don't think Heidi will, do will be doing critical hits, so let's confirm that. Okay, we don't see any critical 
typical as I expected. So Sebastian there is not really doing anything of, of useful. Uh, I mean, I mean, it might help Aurora a little bit, but that's all. So we take out Sebastian, and then what? Then it makes sense to be putting either Dante or Nebula. I don't want to give pain to, Neb to Nebula, so I will put instead uh, Dante. And okay, the other option would be, of course, putting putting Alconor for the extra healing. That might work actually. We need more healing anyway. Okay, now uh, instead of actually putting Kane, so one, two, only two healers, then I put him for Kane. I think we'll keep as is. All right, we go. All right, there we go. Can we survive longer? We lost already two, three. So Ovenor is, uh, is surviving. I remember seeing something like this. Oh, uh, Ovenor would be keeping himself alive much longer. And in turn is keeping Heidi alive. Nice. So there we go, we have a formula. <laughs> <laughs> Alvanor and Heidi, okay? Use Alvanor and Heidi together. It might even be useful, um, I don't know, on other things. So healing, there. Heidi doing a lot of healing on herself, on himself, uh, because of uh, vampirism from Dorian, and then Alvanor doing a lot of healing, and Celeste wasn't able to do much healing. She got killed early. And the damage came mostly from Heidi. It was 3 million. A total was 3 of 4 million. Um, that means they did about 6.3 million damage in total with these 3 attempts. Um, the boss is at half health. I guess it would take another w 2 attacks to finish. So I don't think we will be pushing on here. Unless, unless there was something here that would give us two attack attempts. But this is just one. This is just one. Oh, well yes, we have this. Okay, I might try later. <laughs> There's an adventure pending I have here. <laughs> so I might try later. Pending, pending this. We'll see. <laughs> and uh, I do have, you uh, know, no, I have three more attempts there. So I just, if I can make... If I can make it to 10 additional uh, summonings, uh, and then there's also the option of just opening some, but it's far more expensive than I can. Then maybe I have enough attacks to try again later. Well, um, uh, that is it. Okay, I guess uh, one thing we can check. Um, we can check here before closing this up. So the reward. As I was saying on the previous video, um, we have here this chest we can open, and uh, we can open now. It doesn't doesn't matter much if we open now or later. So uh, close to 5k, 4k, close to 5, and close, I would say, between 5 and 6. Okay, and then this one, pending the boss, <laughs> 20k. We'll have to wait if 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 I can make it today. Uh, you get uh, you get from the quests and you get from from these things here a lot of these coins, and then you can spend them on on, on things here. You can basically get items or the storm legacy ch ch chests or the pet soul chests. So I was saying in the previous video in my in my situation specifically, uh, I don't have uh, any any. Uh any pets that will be getting uh, the next evolution with like, I don't know, 100 souls. So I they need more. They need like close to 200 or 300. Depends on, on which ones. And and as a result, uh, I will be short of souls to actually get a real benefit. I, mean, I could always, you know, progress with that and spend, spend it all on, on, on these chests and then you know, getting Axel probably, or most likely, souls, and, and, and make 
axe will go up one evolution but i can do something else that i think will be more useful also the items the items i can get a few items but maybe depending on the cost will be more useful more worthwhile to getting to getting um instead the chaos particle so uh, on the other account the facebook account i have two items missing here like these two the, the cheapest ones and i can either either buy them here for a small amount or go in the shop there and buy the items directly and then it's good no? um, and then the other option will be just upgrading the items so getting as, as much as possible chaos particles so that will be basically the outcome of getting of getting the storm chest here so in my opinion in my situation um, I might or not get one two items um, depending on the cost um, but probably it's cheaper to just spend some chaos particles or do the adventures and get those um, I will not be getting soul chests because I'm not any close to, to getting um, I'm getting closer it's still not enough to get the actual reward now and so I will be getting the storm legacy chest so this amount I have here 60,000 63,000 is enough to get me 84 so 84 you can get chaos particles pet potions or other unexpected price tag that's uh, souls I believe um, not items but souls and I will take my chances here basically um, the same for the other account except maybe I will get those items so we'll see um, I hope you enjoyed this I want to doing another video uh, we didn't make it um, the, um, to finishing the boss but we fought the boss that that was the the thing we needed to do here to demonstrate and do some and tactics and take make some make some strategies in there and decide what, what will be the best uh, for me the outcome is that I have a very good team already uh, for uh, the the web account and that's Ishmael and Drew and uh, they, they go very well together uh, especially if then you put Dorian and you put Sebastian and then we saw that um, having a tank in the front is essential so uh, good use with Aurora she also absorbs magic damage but somehow might be also uh, interesting to see uh, uh, instead uh, Astro. The problem is that um, my Astro is not as well developed as my Aurora, and Astro um, does not have that, ma that much magic defense. It is more inclined to armor, so physical defense, and it does have the revive, but it doesn't do any dodge, so it will probably get killed very early on. It and also my my healers are more focused on damage so it will not get um it will not be that much useful i think in comparison with aurora aurora will be blocking magic damage will be dodging so she can survive longer and that, that's what we saw she survived at least half the fight um as for the other account so we had heidi uh, and yasmin and aurora and sebastian and we have dorian and we also had the option of Ching Mao and Dante and and uh, Alvanor and in the end we concluded that the the best team is likely uh, pairing Alvanor with Heidi together with Dorian so these three so vampirism goes to Heidi Alvanor tries to keep himself and the others alive uh, he will be blocking physical damage but it's really not <laughs> that much useful there it will also be doing extra healing to to the elves and Heidi I don't think Heidi is at this point uh, an elf <laughs> and she uh, he keep forgetting Heidi is part of the nature slash health uh, faction in in mobile but that hasn't that hasn't been uh, changed in the the browser version so not doing an extra thing there for Heidi uh, and then uh, probably probably best to have something in the front like we had a tank so Aurora in this case uh, we saw that Sebastian would not be useful because of the critical hit it, it has no effect on on Heidi um, and uh, and we had also Celeste but Celeste was dying often 
very quickly. Uh, so I wonder if we could put something else in place of of Celeste. So I guess that will be for next attempt. I will leave you guys now and thank you for watching. Uh, leave a, leave a like and a like, a subscribe, a comment, and see what you feel like. <laughs> and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye bye.